Jamal Williams is healthy, back for 2016. Bigger, stronger, faster. Olympic theme there. So how high does he plan to maximize that growth on the field? Or how does he plan to maximize that growth on the field, I should say? Jerem recently went one-on-one with a man chasing down the all-time rushing record at BYU. This is BYU Sports Nation All Access at Fall Camp. All right, Jamal, day two in the books. What do you think of the first two days of fall camp? Um, I'm just grateful for it. Uh, this has been a great day, both of the days, honestly. We're going out there. We're playing hard. I mean, we got no pads on, so we're doing the best we can. we getting up on each other one-on-ones, but I'm extremely happy with what our offense is doing from the first day, and we made improvements today, too. So every day we're getting better. The defense is getting better, and we're just making each other better. Let's talk about your look here. You've got the Iron Sharpens Iron uh, shirt on, the hoodie. You trying to make weight or something? No, it's just, you know, it's just a nice hoodie. I actually like this. I might wear this in the game, too, because it keeps the sun off you when you don't have your helmet on, you know, and it's sleeveless, and I like sleeveless, so I actually might cut it so I can have it like a belly one. But, you know, <laughs> I might keep it just how it is right now. This might be my mature look for now. It's been a while since we've seen you out here. Uh, what, what was it like the first couple of practice practices to rejoin the team on the field? Uh, it was great, you know, being out here with my friends again, my teammates and my brothers. Uh, you know, they welcome me with open arms all the time, and I'm just grateful for them, you know, to come out here and, and have another season with them. And uh, I told them all right at the back, I'm just grateful to be here with them, and I'm giving them 100% everything I got, and I know they'll do the same for me. How do you feel? I feel good. I'm ready to go, ready for some pads now. I'm tired of just helmets, you know. Helmets, helmets practice is more for defense, you know, make them feel good. But once we put the pads on, they low-key going to be sad. But, you know, they my teammates. They're going to come with some fire, too. So it's going to be great when we put the pads on. Emotionally, I imagine, you know, last year you were expecting that to be your senior. Now you're, now you're back here, new coaching staff, new regime, new everything. What's that like for you emotionally? Honestly, it's just a blessing from God, you know. Uh, all this is just great thing after great thing coming. And I went through my struggles and and I prayed to God and everything. And for him to do this for me and to show me all the blessings now, I see that he's doing great things for me to have this much of uh, a positive influence on my life, to have all these positive people, all the positive things happening now for this season. And it's just great to see the, the new feeling, the new everything. Everybody's free. Everybody's having fun. So I'm just grateful for it. Here with Jamal Williams. Jamal, how do you feel like you're better as a senior here in 2016? Um, honestly, I'm, I feel more mature. Uh, I feel more content with myself. I feel I'm still the same. I still have my happy times and everything. But at the same time, I'm still serious and I'm more mature. Uh, really, that's, <laughs> that's really it. You know, coming 21, people might not think that's old. I've been here since I was 16 turning 17. So. Turning 21 to me and, and going through everything I've gone through is it's just great for me to, to go through the experiences and learn from them and, and be the person I am now. The jer- jersey finally matches the age. Damn, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. could wait to say that. Uh, nah, I, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to be 21 forever, but in age, I'm going to be 21 forever. There's a, there's a story, I believe, along those lines as well. Uh, give us an idea of uh, what the offense is like for the f- – through the first couple of practices? Uh, the offense is mostly is just getting back to it, uh, learning what we learned in spring, and everybody's getting into it. They really learning the stuff, and the mistakes we make in the first practice, everybody cleaned them up in the second, and you know, there's always mistakes we making, but we're always learning from them. People are, are learning from their mistakes and, and, and getting more experience out there, and I can see it. Everybody's going out there doing the hardest they can, and they know that this could be a special season. Who else catches your eye among the running backs with you? Um, mostly everybody, really. They, they're they really coming out with their own special thing. Uh, Squally's coming out. He's almost just like me. You know, he's got the same personality and everything, but he's a little more feisty. He, he fights with a lot of people. He's feistier than you? Yeah, well, I'm feisty when it's time to be feisty. I'm not that feisty all the time. If I don't need to be feisty, I'm not going to pull it out. But Squally will pull out the feisty on anybody, you know? Then you got Trey Dye, a little speedster, a little cute thing. You know what I mean? He's a little cute one. So, <laughs> Is that a compliment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a light-skinned one in this. So he, but he quick. He, he knows what he's doing. He, he's real shifty. Same as KJ. They're both the quick ones and the agility ones out there. And Riley is another. I picture him as a, like an Adam Hine. You know? He could be just like Adam. And, and he's just as fast, just got more muscle as Adam. And they just alike. So 
and Algie's doing his thing. He's just the bulldozer. He's quick. You will never know him being so big that he can move so fast and, and know what he's doing. So he's doing running back, fullback, everything. And we got Creed and Braden out there at fullback, and they're learning. They out there doing their thing, catching balls. And they came a long way from spring to now, and they just got more to learn. But I'm grateful to have them as my group of running backs, and we're going to do special things. My other uh, quote, uh, middle-aged vanilla man is not here. Do you have a message for Spencer? Yeah, tell Spencer, I love you, man. It ain't nothing personal, you know. I only make fun of people I love. So every time I make fun of somebody, you know, it comes out of love. It's never out of hatred. So don't take it serious and don't be sensitive. It's football. Thanks, Jamal. No problem.